Hello, welcome to our retro movie review. Um, it's Sunday. I just uh, had a live chat earlier this morning to announce the winner of the grading contest. But I'm sitting here working late. It's nine o'clock, and I just finished watching Blade Two again. Uh, the, I was just browsing Netflix, and it's on Netflix. So for those that had never seen Blade 2, I highly recommend you watch on Netflix right now if you have seen it and you have Netflix and you don't really need to see Blade 1 to make sense of Blade 2. There's a tiny little plot ties into Blade 1 but it's but it pretty much explained it in the movie. This is a spoiler free review. So I'm not gonna say anything, but this, you know, for for many people, this may not be their type of movies. But I have said this so many times in many discussion that this is one of my favorite Marvel characters movie. Okay, um, it's one of the very first. It's the very first. Well, Blade One, of course, is the very first. Marvel movie I think but it is so well done um, in my opinion it's to me it's a fun movie and for whatever reason it works for me after all these years I have seen this movie more than any of the Marvel superhero movies all of them I might even see this one movie for more than all the other one combined okay because I have rewatched it so many times every time it's on cable TV I can't help but watch it maybe not the whole thing but for sure part of the movie and who doesn't like Wesley Snipe what a badass okay what a badass and then the, the rest of the character is amazing you know I am extremely surprised that you know Nisa the lead female character in this movie never went on to become a bigger star because a she good-looking B as far as far as I can tell she can act C she can do action okay and it baffled me that she basically did this movie and then for the most part I only seen her in one other movies one other one in the past so many years and this movie came out in 2002 it has been that long it has been 14 years Wow how time flew but amazing movie uh, even uh, you know of course you have Ron Perlman in there you have Donnie Yen the young Donnie Yen for those who don't know who Donnie Yen is he's gonna be in Rogue One Star Wars he playing the blind monk the token Asian that Disney decided to, to squeeze in in order to gain some favors in the Chinese market after Star Wars didn't do so well <laughs> oh the things that c company does in order to get a foothold into that market um, regardless I think up and down the cast of that movie I think for a B movie oh and then uh, readers that young uh, the young um, for those that like to watch the Walking Dead TV show Norman this is pre accident where he had that scar on his he had a you know scar on his face now I think he got that from a motorcycle accident or something I'm not sure you know I'm, I'm not well versed in his personal life I just know that this is a young Norman readers without the facial scar and then of course you have the Chris Christopherson that's his name but great movie great action the my biggest complaint of the movie is 
the well, my biggest praise of the movie is also my complaint. I absolutely love the CGI in this movie for the most part. I absolutely it, it stood it stood the test of time. You know, when I saw this movie in 2002 and saw how cool it was that the, the vampire disintegrate into the ashes every time they get killed. It was so cool looking and even now, even tonight when I watch it again, all of those scenes where the vampire burned up and disintegrated still looks so cool after 14 years. That says a lot about the good special effect. But there is a huge sword fighting scenes in this movie. Okay? For those that have seen the movie, I'm pretty sure you will agree. There's a huge sword fighting scene in this movie fantastic sword fighting between Misa, one other vampire, and Blade. Amazing sword work. And then they had to add CGI where the characters hop around like frogs. It looks so fake. It, it looks so fake 14 years ago when I saw it in the theater. I hated that part and every time I see that movie, I still hate it <laughs> that scene was great until i see the, the cgi of the character doing somersault and leaping it looks stupid so that's my biggest complaint of that movie but overall the storyline is fun the bad guy is great um and i can't recommend enough for those that have never seen this movie you don't even have to like vampire to enjoy this movie in my opinion um, i'm sure not everyone that watched this movie is going to rave about how awesome it is like i am but i can tell you in all honesty this is way up there is this my favorite marvel movie hard to say but i can say that i have seen this movie more than any other Marvel movie because it is that much fun for me to watch and the soundtrack beginning nice <laughs> I replay that beat I like it you know I, I give this this is one of those movies where my rating is 9 out of 10 okay because it is so much fun to watch and I can watch it over and over and over again the rewatchability of this movie is so high is it a perfect movie? Not really. <laughs> but a 9 out of 10. You're not going to hear me give that many Marvel movie a 9 out of 10. Okay? You're not going to hear that many. Um, but other than that, I hope those that have Netflix will give this movie a shot if you haven't seen it. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>